how's everybody? This is Gary with What's Up Outdoors, and this is my nephew Jordan. And uh, Jordan um, uh, recently was able to go on uh, an elk hunt with his the dad. Second uh, time. Yeah, Lucky. The second time, yeah. <laughs> and his, uh, his dad, Ronnie, uh, got drawn for elk tag here in Kentucky, and we got a little bit of video we'll show you. But I just kind of wanted to uh, talk with Jordan a little bit uh, about the elk hunt. So um, how was it? It was quite a lovely experience, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, it was, it was really nice. Um, I mean, it only lasted like four hours, so... Uh, we can get a week. How, how, many, how many days did he get uh, drawn for? I think like almost a week. So I mean, he got drawn for like about a week hunt, uh, <laughs> for, you know, for about, a, you know, five, six, seven days, and uh, they got there, and I think within <laughs> four hours they had already killed it, right? We got there at 7.20, and I think he shot the first one at 9.30, so... So what was the funnest part of the elk hunt? Probably driving around and, you know, getting out and shooting the cow. Yeah. So, so tell us about, uh, I, we heard something happened, you got stuck or something? <laughs> so basically we woke up at like um, 4, left the house by 4.20, and we live up on a hill. So it had recently snowed quite a bit, and the roads were extremely icy, because there was a little jab there. Um, so we're coming off the hill, and it That's starts getting part. really icy, obviously, so with ice, you know, you lose your traction of the vehicle because ice, you know, it's what it does, it's, you know, slippery. So then we slide into the ditch, uh, <laughs> we're almost completely sideways, so we have to, like, get out of the ditch somehow, and our truck is almost completely, like, on its side. So my dad asked Jesse, which is our buddy, he went hunting with us to help and he did you know like 90% of the work but besides that uh we'll just, we'll, <laughs> can I edit that out? We can edit that out yeah. <laughs> so our big bud you know Jesse here um my dad asked him if he can get out so um Jesse's sitting on the passenger side like he can't get out obviously so then we had to like straddle the truck and then we eventually try like just gun it out and somehow we get out of the ditch so I don't really sounds pretty interesting yeah, just was... just getting stuck uh yeah. <laughs> sounds pretty good too mm -hmm. right uh, so, uh, so tell us about the elk hunt. Um, what, how did it go down? Uh, like when we actually shot the animal? Yeah, just I mean, uh, everything in general. Well, we, okay, well, it's a long story, but I know you got time. <laughs> Me too. So, well, no, but, um, we saw them over in, like, at least, I don't even know, like, across another, like, the hallway, right? Um, like three power lines, we were driving around for like an hour, not even knowing if we were on the property or not, so we had to figure all that out. So we finally find the road to get to where the elk were, like over an hour later, and then we see them in all this thick brush and stuff, so obviously you shouldn't shoot when you don't have a good shot, you know. So obviously they ran off because they smelled us. So then they come out into this road, it's got like a bend in it, right? Because, you know, it's a road. Uh, <laughs> so then the cat... The cows come out, there was two of them, there was a spike, obviously you don't shoot the spike because he was drawn for a cow. So, there's two cows, like on this, like like the curve of the road right there, like they come out right there. We're up here, all three of us, my dad's trying to get a good shot, so Jesse's like, wait till he turns around, right, and you know, get his neck, you know, and his shoulder area exposed. I think you hear that on the video too. Yeah, you like, did hear it on the video. I think you hear Jesse say, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but, um, you know, obviously he takes a shot. We don't even know if the thing's been hit or not, okay? Elk are quite big animals, okay? Mm -hmm. They are massive. They're at least from here to, like, here. <laughs> like, that's just a cow, okay? Yeah, 700 pounds. They're huge animals. I'm sure they're bigger than that. So it just, you know, runs off into the brush, okay? The other one runs off because, obviously, we can't kill two, obviously. So then, okay, <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a long story. Um, we're, you know, just searching around, trying to find any signs of blood. Elk don't bleed that much, you know, contrary to what you might believe, you know, until you find them, they're just going to be sitting in a pool of blood because, you know, they're big animals, okay? <laughs> it takes multiple shots. So then they find it, they see its butt, okay, that's all they can see. So either he can shoot it in the butt, right? So then I'm on the other side over here. I can see its neck and everything. I can actually see the elk and the animal moving. So then I have to run all the way up there in boots when it's icy and slippery. I almost fell down twice, okay? We don't need to talk about that part. Wait, so I want to hear yeah. that part. <laughs> did you fall? Did no, you... I did not fall. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, that would have been the good part. Yeah. So then I had to get them. You know, the guy's actually going to be shooting. And then we run all the way down here. He takes at least 
four shots, right? <laughs> it takes the, you know, it takes him like the entire magazine that he has just to even get the animal on the ground. So it takes overall five shots just to kill one elk. So then he's screaming, I'm out, I'm out, <laughs> like in a war film or something. But yeah, that was basically a short summary of how he managed to kill the animal. Yeah, like it could go on longer than that, but you know. Don't want this video to be like 30 minutes. So. Well, sounds like you had a good time, but you know, just going back when you were just talking about, you know, um, roads and having a bend in them, and that's just kind of naturally how they are. Well, yeah, in Kentucky, yeah. 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 <laughs> Kentuckys do have bends in them, I guess yeah. we're saying. It sounds like y'all had a good time overall, and uh, I'm glad y'all got there and got back safe, even though y'all had a few mishaps. Yeah, could have um, gone off a hill and, you and know, glad a car that, crash. And... Glad that Ronnie uh, was able to... <laughs> Um, get a cow elk uh, he killed a bull elk I guess it was about three or four years ago Was uh, he got drawn and it's funny how he keeps on getting drawn and none of us yeah. we're putting in for it <laughs> I, I wonder drawn. if he's got connections somewhere I mean to my knowledge he doesn't no. I mean, to my knowledge he has no connections it's he's just, just pure luck yeah, yeah. yeah. and I don't believe in luck but I think he, I think for him it's luck <laughs> nah. nah but anyway nah indeed that's uh, the blessings of God uh, definitely and we're just glad that uh, He's, he was able to get one. and um, So hopefully you enjoy the video, and uh, may God bless you.